Hey, hey everyone, happy Monday. It's Lydia here. I hope you guys are settling into, oh my gosh, is this the third week of January, second week? What is it? I don't know, but here we are. January is almost half over. I hope y'all are settling in um, and had a good weekend. Uh, we had got a little bit of snow here on the East Coast, which was kind of cool because, you know, it's January. We might as well have snow if it's going to be cold. Um, I'm stopping by to share some thoughts with you, okay? So it's a new year. Everyone is, well, I'm in the health space, right? I'm in the health space, personal growth space, women's empowerment space. So I'm watching a lot of people, um, you know, they've got great goals. They've got this momentum. It's January. Let's do a cleanse. Let's do a detox. Let's do some kind of diet plan. Let's um, get a new routine in our workout. Let's start to declutter our whole house. I've been seeing the Marie Kondo uh, thing come back in full force and everyone's decluttering right now. And these are all, you know, come from a really awesome place. And, you know, January it tends to be that like rah, rah, let's go. It's the beginning of the year. It's a new year. I've got these goals. Here we go. Um, which is awesome, right? But the truth of the matter is, is it's not necessarily going to be um, lasting this momentum, this kind of like intensity. Um, and the truth also is we don't always have to go through our life making all this sweeping change all at once. Um, especially when we can actually take the time to check in with ourselves regularly by creating what I like to call healthy boundaries. So I wanted to talk about healthy boundaries today because um, and, the, and really healthy boundaries can look different for all of us and are something that we're going to want to revisit. And I, you know, uh, tend to need to revisit this pretty regularly um, and they will shift. They'll shift because, you know, when you begin to create and crowd out something you don't want with something that you do want and you are consistent, then you become you know, more of a master at that and it's not as big of a problem for you and then you can allow for something else, the next thing, like, okay, where else can I create um, a boundary? And so I really love thinking about healthy boundaries and I'm not just talking about changing your diet or exercise or decluttering your house. I'm talking about um, boundaries around your energy and person as a whole. So it could be um, you know, boundaries where you're not giving so much of yourself to everyone else. Um, you are, uh, creating, uh, time and space for you so that you can have X, Y, Z instead of feeling like you don't always have time, but yet you're spending, you know, 50 minutes scrolling through Instagram like a zombie, <laughs> not really like gaining much from it or always Netflix binging instead of like actually doing the thing that you really want, like write the book that you wanted to write or start to plan, you know, the redecoration project, the, I don't know, whatever it is. And so the way I like to think about boundaries is how you're actually creating um, more space for what you do want, which really provides this beautiful energy for yourself. So in my last video, I talked about the self care. And one of the ways you can have really awesome self care is to create healthy boundaries for yourself. Um, so one of the one of the ones that I like is um, here's a healthy boundary. And this is going to sound kind of a little weird. But I noticed I was giving away a lot of energy to arguing, or, or maybe, I, I don't even want to say arguing, although sometimes I do argue, um, or feeling like I have to convince everyone else of something that I want, such as like the amount of space I need to go and write my book or whatever, um, or convincing them that, that, that my way, because I'm an INFP, you guys, my personality type is so rare that all the th ways that everybody else does things don't work for me. So, um, you know, trying to fit into the world as me can be really, really challenging. And so I found that I gave away so much energy 
when I didn't fully understand that and I felt like I had to kind of do things the way everyone else did. And the truth is, is I never did. I, I could have done it my way all the, forever, but we live in a world that doesn't really um, honor the creatives and the artists and the visionaries like myself. We really have an infrastructure in our society that kind of only works for a couple personality types and then the rest of us are like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Um, so that said, it's really, um, I don't, people don't have to agree with me and I don't have to be right. I just get to give myself permission and do what I need to do um, to live my best life. And so what I realized I was doing was seeking everyone's approval. I, I felt like I needed someone to tell me, oh yeah, do that, that's awesome, you go do whatever. And I needed them to, to like give me permission and I realized I was giving away so much of my own energy looking for that. I was giving away so much of my own power looking for that. I was doubting myself and that is a huge energy suck because let me tell you, doubt can show up in your life in so many ways and hold you back and even cause things like depression. I'm not talking about clinical depression here. I'm talking about impacting your mood and making you feel like something's wrong with you when it's really not. Really all I needed to do was recognize who I am and own it. Simple as that. And so I'm sharing this today as an example to you. Um, when it comes to healthy boundaries, sometimes we have to speak truth to ourselves and get out of our own way and give ourselves that permission to not have to constantly be seeking approval from the world and from society and from others to make us feel okay about what it is that we already know inside that we want. And when you already know and you trust that knowing and you really tap into that knowing and you're, you feel guided by your intuition and you allow yourself to trust it, holy cow, there's so much more power and energy behind that. So that's just one example of creating um, healthy boundaries is it it can um, it can just change your whole life it can radically radically change your whole life when you figure out a couple ways that you have been allowing so much to creep in like being that person that always says yes to oh sure okay I'll help you I'll help you because deep down you're a helper and you love to help people but you can't always give out, give out, give out, give out, give out. You really do have to cut it off and say no sometimes. And that's a boundary that some of us need to be putting in place. So I, I just wanted to broach the subject today and to talking about healthy boundaries, but I also wanna point you guys to my link in bio. Um, head over to the blog, I've got a lot of stuff on there, but one of the posts I recently wrote was why you need to stop seeking approval right now because it is squelching you. It is squelching you from being free and being you and doing what you know you need to do. So I encourage you to go find that, um, give it a read and let me know what you think. And I hope that you felt really empowered today by this video and you're thinking about some of the boundaries that maybe you probably know you uh, need to be putting into better place for your own uh, benefit and even for others benefit too you guys it's it's not always just about when you create a boundary it's it's not just impacting you it will help others um even if some people don't always like it at first all right well that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video share in the comments below if you had an aha i'd love to hear from you thanks guys bye